first, I wanted to show you how you do that A minor over G. It was really easy. You just click on the chord and you click on the A minor chord. And then you go, when you go to details, you have right here to the right of inversion where you can tell it to be a different bass note. And I just chose G. It's that simple. Um, anyway, so that's that. Uh, and now we're going to move on to drums. So, so first of all, I'm going to mute easy drums. So I'm going to listen to it without the drums. Where does it feel like the drum should come in? Um, and just to recap what we have on our first guitar we recorded was this one. And then I recorded this guitar. And then we added a uh, bass. Where is the bass? There's the bass. I'm going to solo that. Ah, right here. So we're using um, expand bass with a, a waves compressor, a uh, Renaissance bass compressor. And then over here, we added, in, using Trillion, a, an arpeggiated little bass part. We may use it, we may not. I just threw it in just to show you another approach. So I like it. Um, it's, it, to me, it kind of hips it up, makes it cool. So now I'm going to just listen to the song without the drums and just feel where, where I feel the drums should come in. So right there. But the other thing I heard was this piano chord, I want it to stop. So now I gotta go to easy keys and it's right there. I know it's the demo. Be prepared for that detuning thing from hell. Let it be. Okay, so I don't want that piano C, I don't think. So I'm going to remove it and I'm gonna make this F a whole note. Let's listen. Let it be. To me, it gives it space, and um, we can do some kind of percussion thing, and then bam, on In My Hour of Darkness. So, what is the bam? Uh, so, I would go to Easy Drummer. I'm going to get rid of this loop, kind of um, our metronome. Uh, I'm going to remove that, and now I'm going to go sound searching. So, I just don't like to go with the predictable as I'm trying to impress on you guys. Uh, I'm going to actually go to, let's try pop. Let's see what we got here. We've got hip hop. Let's see what a hip hop looks, sounds like. That's kind of cool. So I'm going to turn off this loop. I'm going to click on that so we're not looping anymore. And we're going to come in at bar, bar 10. So I'm going to take this guy and see, is this completely crazy? Here we go. bugs me is um, I'm going to turn the piano off for now. So I turned off the pianos because it was taking so much space and I really want to concentrate on this drum part with the bass and everything else. So that's another thing I'd probably do. Okay, so I'm using one of the 
Easy Drummer expansion libraries. And um, well, this one is Pop. So there it is. And it is, come on, feel the love. There we go. Well, okay, so it's 89 bucks, but it's, you'll, you get exactly on all of these awesome beats and fills. And so you go to Let It Be and you go, what if I try hip hop? It's something you just never think about, but you kind of push yourself to, I don't know, just be creative and don't go with the predictable choice every time. Sometimes it's good to go back to the predictable choice but spacious soul. So I'm gonna remove this. I liked it, um, but I'm just gonna hunt around a little bit more. Let me try that. All right, let's listen. Let it be I'm going to keep that for now. I'm going to go back and change the drum sounds, but, um, oop, undo. So what I want to do is take this and bring it in. So the chorus starts at bar. This is why markers are so great. 14. So I just want to pull this guy back to 14. So now we're ready to find another pattern for the chorus. And what the, let's see what we got with... Okay, let's try that. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. No, too busy. All right, let's go back. Well, let's go for something else. So I'm, I'm thinking of the song in my head while I'm listening to each one of these patterns. Let me just hear that. Let it be. We'll do a fill here. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. So we also, we can double click on this and say, what if we want like a tambourine to play along? We just turn the power on, we're in the edit play style tab, and let's listen. Let it be, let it be, let it be. We want to turn it up, be, click on it, and change the velocity. So if we let wanted to play be. a different rhythm, we would go here and it's telling us it's playing on the eighth note with the accent on the two and the four. So what if we want it to play 16th notes? So there's sixteenths with accents on one, two, three, and four. Is that right? Let me double check. Yep. Okay. Let's listen. Let it be. Let it be. We turn the volume down. No. Uh, let's try a shaker. Again, let's try to go up to the 16th. If we do that, let's bring the piano back in and see if it's too much or... Turn the volume down. So 
I'm thinking also we'll get this some kind of cool snare sound. So when we get to, so we'll add this. idea bam um okay so let's throw a fill in i'm gonna close this edit play style window i'm gonna go to fills and i'm just gonna okay let's go to the spacious soul fills Doesn't like in any of these fills yet. I'm going over here and I'm just gonna veer out and say, let's go somewhere different. Let's listen with this guy. Okay, Let, what if we take this and we pull it out here just to take the end of it and we keep our groove going. Let's see. I'm going to click on bar 11. Actually, go Let it be. Let it be. Let okay, right idea. I'm going to zoom in and say, you know what? Whew. Um, what if we just do that? And let's listen. Let it be. get the idea it's close but it's not right yet so I'm gonna remove that let's see if we go a little simpler usually from top to bottom they start with simple and they get a little bit more complex so let's go a little simpler than that All right, I'm gonna try that one Right there. Yeah. Let it be. 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 Okay, and what if I stop there? Let it be. I guess all we really need is, is an outro if we want to just go with the quick version. I mean, you can tweak the crap. So now I'm going to go through, I'm going to take what we have, I'm going to edit it, I'm going to find that funky sound, um, and I'm going to change the drum sounds, put some effects. So we kind of have uh, everything but the outro, but we can change it. Uh, and that's a good start for the drums. So let's move on. <laughs> 